Space has been a point of fascination for humans for centuries. As technology rapidly progresses, there's been a shift from a point of fascination to a deep need for exploration, to know what lies beyond the Earth. It's been 52 years since the first man stepped onto the moon in 1969. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And that desire to explore the vast unknown has only continued to grow. Today we're going to talk about some of the amazing events that are set to happen before 2030 in space exploration. Long before we sent a man to the moon, we were sending anything we could into space. With the success of Voyager 1, suddenly the horizons broadened up a bit and it felt like anything was possible. Of course, that curiosity and all was quickly used for other purposes. During the Cold War, the United States and the Soviet Union entered into an unspoken competition to create the best technology. Presumably, that would advance the so-called space race even faster. These advancements then led to a rapid evolution of the space industry. That period of time has been considered the golden age of the space industry. But that was really just the beginning. So fast forward some decades later, what does the new space age look like? Well, take a look at this. Now, there are far more contenders in the game now. It's not only about NASA and Russia, it's about India, China, and a lot of other countries and private companies. With all this new competition, we're seeing even more cutting-edge technology and plans for voyagers we would never have considered before. You must have heard this. SpaceX and Elon Musk's obsession with Mars. I mean, the long-term aspiration is to develop the technologies necessary to transport a large number of people and cargo to, to Mars um, in order to create a self-sustaining civilization there. Well, that's just the tip of the space tech iceberg. As a space agency, NASA emerged as the victor of the Cold War space race, and ever since it has continued to change the aerospace industry. It has launched some of the most important research missions to date. We're talking outside of space tech as well, like the new water purification system, research on muscle atrophy and bone loss, growing food in microgravity, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Invested in gathering information on how space works and what makes planet inhabitable, NASA continues to find vital information about how life works on other planets. Beyond the fact that that is an incredibly cool concept, they use that information to figure out new ways to get astronauts deeper into space, and eventually to other planets. But we just threw a lot at you, so let's break that down. We've got a few main players, NASA, India, and China. So what are they up to? NASA sent its last men to the moon in 1972, but they recently announced the Artemis project to send humans back to the moon by 2024. It's mentioned on the NASA website that the agency has continued to gain momentum towards sending humans to the moon again for the first time since the last Apollo lunar mission in 1972. Well, it doesn't stop here. They also plan to send humans to Mars by 2030. NASA has already sent rovers and landers to Mars and they've been able to study and understand what the surface looks and feels like. While that's very cool, Mars is still just a bit too far enough for man to reach, at least for now. But NASA is working on technology that would enable a crewed Mars mission by 2030. On top of all that, they are developing a powerful nuclear-powered propulsion system to reduce the travel time. They are also working on other technologies like the inflatable heat shields, high-tech Martian spacesuits, Martian homes, labs on wheels, and laser communication to send more information home. And you're certainly not alone if all of that sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. But that's enough about NASA. What about India? India's ISRO is known for its ability to cut cost and improve the technology of missions. This is a good, low-cost way to send commercial payloads to space. The Mongolian and ISRO space probe was sent successfully to Mars. This Mars orbiter mission made India the third country to accomplish this, and they did so at a cost of only $74 million. 
The Mars journey, uh, sending a probe around the red planet, had a relatively modest price tag of just $74 million. That is 11% of the cost of a similar American mission launched two days before. Remember the time in 2014 when that info broke the internet? While well, one agency used that money to launch a real space mission, the other launched a simulated space mission. If you don't already know this, I'm talking about space movie gravity. India's Mars Orbiter mission cost less than gravity the movie. Let's get back to ISRO. This organization is similar to SpaceX in its ability to cut costs in space technologies without affecting its performance. Also, India plans to compete its first manned mission to space by 2022. Gaganyan, which translates to Skycraft, is the name of ISRO's crewed mission and plans to send three people into a lower orbit around the Earth. We'd be remiss if we didn't include the other major space superpower, China. The Chinese Space Agency has made major strides in the recent years and it's on its way to catch up with NASA and Russia. While the rest of the countries are focused on shorter, further mission, China is focused on long-term space explorations as a way to showcase its strength. China has launched hundreds of rockets in the past couple of decades. They've landed their probes on the moon and Chang'e 4 becomes the first lander to land on the far side of Thermion and return some spectacular photographs. Their other rover, Chang'e 5, was launched on November 23rd, 2020 and finally returned home to Earth with some moon samples. The country has already outlined a proposed architecture for getting astronauts to the moon and back as a part of their crewed mission. China says that its landing would be conducted with clear and specific scientific research goal. They are testing a new generation of crew and spacecraft capable of transporting astronauts beyond low Earth orbit. We can't help but suspect, in the coming years there will be a lot of breakthroughs in space. Private companies like SpaceX and some other countries are beginning to think bigger and further than ever before. They are changing the very definition of what a space mission is and are doing it all while lowering the cost and still being safe and effective. They will bring about a new golden age of astronomy and space exploration. And within this new era, the company and governments are designing how the future of space will look and what that means for all of us. Will we eventually meet aliens or becoming the first type 2 civilization? Only time will tell. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Harry and I'm so glad you made it to the end. If you like this topic content, please subscribe. If you want to, follow us on Instagram at Beyond Ideas. I'll see you again next week for more curiosity videos. Bye-bye.